All right, hey guys, uh, Studio One version 5 just came out a few days ago. I've been messing with it, and one of the comments that I see most on my posts about Studio One on Instagram, on Facebook, is whether or not they've added a native tape stop effect. Um, similar to Verify in Pro Tools, you can also do this in Adobe Audition with Pitch Bender and Logic with their uh tape stop envelope fade thing uh to answer the question first off no they haven't added a native tape stop unfortunately i feel like that's coming it has to be because it's one of the most requested features i've seen even in the music community um so i think that it is forthcoming at some point but until then we have options and one of those options is a third-party plugin very cheap ten dollars is what i paid for it. it 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 might be a little bit more but it's called uh tape stop by a brand known as kilo hearts so what i'm going to do is i'm going to load it up on this track with this piece of vo um the vo just says in the mix in the mix and i want it to kind of wind down as the file ends so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add the Kilo Hearts plugin uh, tape stop. So we'll go right over here and add it to the track. And there you can see it. Um, one of the things that I want to do, I want to bring the start time up. But what I want to do is I want to have control over that. So I'm going to go right up here to where it says auto. That's short for automation. Right now, we don't have any automation, so it's going to say off. What I'm going to do is add or remove parameters. And what I want is I want play. And I also want stop time. Now, if I want to speed it up, I would also add start time. I don't want to do that on this one, but the same rules apply. So we have, as you can see, volume, pan, play, and stop time. Okay. So we'll go ahead and move this plugin over here. Now what I'll do is I'll expand my automation envelopes. Let's drag that and that up to the top. So now you can see we have a lane for play and we have a lane for stop time. So what I want to do is highlight this and I actually want to bring our stop time up and let's see here. Let's see what this In the is. That puts it at 1.39. So I want to do maybe like 1.0, um, which is kind of, it's not an exact science, but here's how you can tell. When we click in here, you can see 1.17. So I actually want to um, probably bring this down even more. Oh, added a point here. Um, just a touch. Yeah, that's close enough. And it doesn't have to be exact. You can play around with this envelope, but I want it to take about a second to slow down and stop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the play envelope, and I basically want to tell it when I want it to stop playing. And that's going to be um, right about here ish and we can just preview it see how it sounds in the mix. cool um and you can even if you want that you can bring that envelope even farther down in the mix. or if you don't want it to slow down quite as much you can always in the mix you just play around with it until you find what you like. In the mix. And then once you're done, you... In the mix. You close your automation lanes and bam, there you go. In the mix. And the nice thing too is with Studio One, if I want to move this, I can move it over here or copy it. The automation points will stay the same. Say you have a um, piece of VO, you know, that's different than this, and you kind of want to keep that same automation curve. You can even just highlight those two automation points and hold down your option key. And when you do that, you can actually drive the automation points to another section in your timeline. 
and still kind of keep that same feel. Or you can edit it all over again. That's the beauty of automation. Um, one thing that I would also maybe tell you to do is add, if you go down here to add and remove parameters, maybe add the, um, the bypass parameter. Because if you're not going to be using this all the time, you may want to just bypass it until you are using it. So see right here is where we're using it. So I'll highlight that and wait until you see this little icon on your cursor. If you drag that down, you'll see right now it's bypassed. In the mix. Now it's enabled and then it bypasses it again so it's not using up your CPU power. So automation is really great in Studio One. It's kind of your best friend when you're dealing with plugins that you're only going to use once in a while like this tape stop um, but it's really helpful and it gives you the option in the mix. gives you the option to have a tape stop in studio one which is what a lot of people ask for so again the plugin is called tape stop and the company is called kilo hearts k-i-l-o-h-e-a-r-t-s kilo hearts and it's super cheap really easy to automate and it'll give you a tape stop in studio one hope that helps